Hey Vinyl Community, Mike the Arbor Retentive here uh, with just a, uh, two little quick things. Uh, first of all, I stopped at um, a, a Grace thrift store which uh, has a like usually one plastic milk crate full of records for 99 cents. 95% um, of which are generally uh, religious albums of some sort <laughs> or other uh, items that I'm not interested in. But every so often there'll be something there. Like uh, I think the last thing I got there was a uh, uh, Mahavishnu Orchestra uh, album which uh, turned out to be fantastic. So every once in a while when I'm passing by there I'll just stop. It takes like two seconds to run in. Nothing. I'm out. But this time they had one. So I picked this up. This is The Best of Keith Jarrett. Um, it's got, what year is this? Well, it's a best of, so I don't know what year. Copyright 73, 74, 77, and 78. So I, this came out in 78, I believe. Um, track list there. Interested? I don't know if that's focusing. But uh, I listened inside one of this this morning while I was cleaning the music room, and uh, it's really good. Uh, it's on the Impulse label, the ABC Impulse label. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is a good score. Uh, this is you know all piano. This is actually some. It sounds like they're they mic'd the room or whatever. So you, not only are you hearing the piano, but uh, a couple of these tracks have like you can hear like mmm mmm moaning and you know just noises that you'd make while you're playing, you know. Um, okay, sorry, that description is going off the rails, but I think uh, what I mean is that, the, you know, it's not just uh, uh, what I wanted to say, <laughs> and this is why I don't write for Rolling Stone. Uh, it's kind of, I didn't meant that the recording is not like clinical, you know, like very sterile or whatever. It's, you know, there's a lot of background sound and stuff so this is great um, the other thing I wanted to show is based on someone else's YouTube uh, clip that I saw uh, I made record dividers for my collection um, just got some vinyl letters and I wrote about this on my blog took some pictures but um, I was having trouble, well, largely because things kept shifting, like, oh, all of a sudden I've got, you know, a, a giant section of Third Man Records, so everything had to shift over, and where I remembered Grateful Dead was, you know, moved to the next spot, so I'm like, okay, I need dividers, so. Uh, as I said on my blog, the only one I'm not using is X, so I need to find myself a, a vinyl album that's from a group that starts with X, <laughs> just to make the collection complete. I also moved up further, <laughs> so now I have two uh, wooden crates up here um, for just like I put the King Sunny Eight stuff up there. These are, you know, this is my like. Where do you categorize this? This is the Space 1999 record I showed and the uh, Dick Hyman Moog album. I've uh, got some local stuff. Here's my dub, th my three precious dub albums. So yeah, I just uh, kind of organized that a bit, and you know, uh, land is expensive, so you gotta go upwards. So that's what I did. I actually cleaned up. Uh, my desk used to be just enormous piles of stuff, but I've got most of it all put away now, so. Um, this is a, a preview for you guys. Uh, I'll be making soon a somewhat confessional video about Neil Diamond. Uh, I've alluded to the fact that uh, I'm a Neil Diamond fan uh, up to a certain point. Uh, and it actually uh, was kind of opened my eyes to record collecting, and I will reference these specific albums. Uh, 
just in terms of like, hey, they made a different version of this. Yeah, of course, you know. I didn't know about <laughs> reissues and, um, you know, people changing record companies and that kind of stuff. So um, once I got back into record collecting, uh, I started picking up, um, you know, Diamond Allen, which you can find everywhere. Bug in here. But anyway, I'll save that for uh, the next video. I just wanted to show that Keith Jarrett um, and my dividers and say peace to y'all. All right. Later.